everybody, welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve, and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. In our last episode, Making an EVA Foam Night Helmet, Part 1, we went through building the entire structure for our night helmet. We showed building the bottom half of the helmet, we showed building the truncated cone, the tapered cone for the top half of the helmet. We showed how we capped it off and cut the beveled edge. We had the entire structure built last time. Now in tonight's episode, we're going to add all the detail. We're gonna put on the metal stripping around the middle, down the nose, around the top, down the back, and then we're gonna finish up by adding all of the battle damage. We're going to put all the dents from the rocks, we're going to put all the gashes from the axes, and then we're going to finish it up with adding all of our rivets. So, if you're ready to hit it, let's make something. Okay, so now what we're going to do, while we let the helmet sit for a little bit, we're going to use an X-Acto knife to cut out these thin, what's supposed to look like the thin metal strips, and this is the thin two millimeter foam. Okay, so we used our X-Acto knife, we cut out our thin two millimeter foam, and if you notice, what I did here was I left a little bit extra on both ends so that when we are wrapping our foam onto our helmet, I want a little bit extra on the bottom so I can wrap it around the bottom so it looks like the metal is bent around the edge of the helmet, and then we'll measure and we'll trim off at the top. Okay, so, we're going to start gluing, but we're going to hold it down. We're going to trace our line. See the silver lines there for where we want to put our glue. So we're going to put our contact cement in that area, and then we're going to put our contact cement on the back of this piece, and then they're going to contact together. Make sure we get the whole area covered because we want there to be a complete connection between our metal strip and our helmet. You can see the contact cement is wet and when it starts to become non-glossy and it's absolutely dull and matte finish then you know that it's dry. So we have both pieces, our helmet and our metal strap. Okay, now we're ready to start sticking our metal strip that goes around our eye plate and we want to be careful not to touch. Okay, now we want to hold this side up because we do not want it falling down and sticking one side down at a time. We're lining it up, We're keeping it up in the air so that only the parts touch that we want touching for right now. All right, now we've got one side. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. Pull it and stretch it a little bit and line it up. Lay this down. All right, it's okay if it's a tiny bit wobbly. It's just gonna add to the rustic feel of it because it's a night helmet. There's our first strip. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to connect our back strip around the back. So we'll do the same thing. Okay, now what we've done is we've transferred our lines for our back metal strip to our helmet. So we know we're going to contact cement right in this area. And we're also going to contact cement on the back of our metal strip. We've waited five minutes. Now it's time to apply. So we're gonna line this up, hold this side back. We're gonna smooth down every step of the way, just like that. Now we have to meet it up right here on the edge. So we're going to meet it first and we're gonna stretch this and meet it first. So now we know we have a perfect seam there. Now, because it's foam, and it gives, we're going to stick it down like this, and we know now we have a perfect fit, and what we'll do is we'll use our Dremel to take this off. Okay, I have my dust mask on because we're going to be Dremeling, so what we're going to do is we're going to be taking this little raised piece off. <laughs> 
beautiful. Can't even see it. Now what we'll do is we'll go over it with the smoother Dremel bit, just to smooth it a little bit. Okay, now we have our smoother bit. Beautiful, look at that. We're going to take our sanding sticks and we're going to just smooth it out a little bit. Look at that, beautiful. Down. We're going to trace where we want our glue to go. Now we're going to glue the back of our strip. We're going to mark this as top so we know it's the top when we go to stick it down. Right there. Okay, we got that. No strip on the helmet, completely covered. We're going to get some contact cement going right across the front. We're going to cover the bottom edge of the helmet right there on the back because we're going to want the piece of metal to bend around it. Okay, we've waited five minutes. Actually, what we probably want to do is we probably want to line it up in the middle first and we're going to touch the middle down. We're going to keep our two sides lifted up like this. We're going to push down in the middle. We're going to run our finger along the edge right there to make it look like it's wrapping over. We're going to do the same thing. Actually, let's finish this part while we got it. We're going to stretch this part over the back. Now we're going to spin this around and we're going to stretch this real tight right up against here like that. We're going to get in here with our finger and really mush it down. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. And then this lines up. There we go. Now it looks like a thin piece of metal bent over other metal. And we've got our bottom piece wrapped around. Now we'll just come in with a knife and we'll cut that end off. We'll come around to this side. We'll cut that off. We'll be all set. We're going to take our X-Acto knife and we're going to cut right around there like that. Now we're going to come around and slice this part off too. Okay, now very simple. We just get our X-Acto blade, cut right along the edge of the helmet like so and Perfect. So earlier we had mentioned we were going to measure the circle, cut a perfect circle and cap it, but actually I think a better way is we will take a half inch piece of foam, which is the same thickness as the floor mat foam, but we don't want any texture on it, so we're using half inch EVA foam that we bought from TNT Cosplay. And we're going to set our helmet on top of it know where we're going to glue with our contact cements. We want to come around. And then we're going to make a line so we know that's the back. And we're going to put an F here so we know that's the front. So now we know that is the shape of our helmet. We know where we're going to glue. That way when we take our helmet and we line up the front with the front, and the back with the back, it will fit. Glue all the way around our line. We don't want to go too far inside the line because we only need to go about a half inch inside the line maximum. There we go. It's nice and wet. We'll wait till it dries, then we'll attach it. Okay, so there you go. You can see it's glossy. We've got the top of the helm, top rim of the helmet contact cemented, and we have our piece that's going to be our top plate cemented. So once the two dry, we will flip this upside down. We will line up the front with the front. We will line up the seam in the back with the line for the back and we'll push it down. Our lid is dry. The top edge of our helmet is dry. So now we're going to take our time. We're going to line up our F with our center of our front just like that right on it. Now we just push down on the helmet because we want a tight seal around this edge. And no, this is not a medieval knight graduation cap. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to 
get our knife coming at a 45 degree angle, slight bevel. We're gonna come right up alongside the helmet like that. And we're just going to follow around our helmet. Just like that. Look at that. Beautiful. We're just gonna get a couple tiny little pieces around the top that we just beveled. There's a couple little pieces that overhang just a little bit. All right, and what we'll do is we will take our 220 where we dremeled. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, then we're gonna come in with the 320 right here. Okay, so what we've done is we've taken a thin two millimeter piece of foam, very long. We want it longer than we're going to need it because what we're going to be doing is we're going to take the foam, we're going to line it up on the edge and we're going to glue this all the way around the helmet and it's gonna come right back up to the front and we're gonna mark it and cut it off. Okay, so we're going to do what we always do. We're going to trace around our helmet so we know what we're going to be gluing with the contact cement. We just roll the helmet. We have contact cemented around the top of our helmet and we've contact cemented the strip that's gonna go around it. Wait five and contact. Now we're gonna come in, we're going to line up our first piece right up against the top. We're gonna to anchor it down and because it's foam, you can slightly bend it. We're gonna just take our time. We're gonna go right around the top edge of the helmet like that and it's that simple. So now we don't want to stick the very end piece down because now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get our Sharpie ready. We're going to make a little mark where we know it needs to end there and there. And then we're going to cut it. Perfect. So we're going to take this. We're going to line it up with our metal piece at the top. We're going to push it down and look at that. Perfect fit. That is tight. Okay, actually we forgot one last piece. We're going to run a metal strip down the back of the helmet also. So what we're going to do is we're going to trace where we want our glue to go. So now we've got where we're going to put our contact cement on the back of the helmet and we'll put our contact cement on the inside of the strip and this will be our last middle strip. The back of our helmet is dry and our strip is dry. So what we're going to do, very simple, line our strip up with the top of our helmet just like that. And there is a nice perfect seal. We're gonna lay it down as we head towards the, the front edge of this metal strip and then we wanna press it down kinda tight. Now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna come in and we're going to push down like that and we're going to get it nice and tight on the bottom. There we go. And then we're going to lay right down the back, smooth it out. Okay, we've got our strip going over the back now. Just like that. Let's get a little bit of contact cement on there. And I put it on a tiny bit thick, so we'll take another piece of foam and we'll smooth it off just like that. There you go, look at that, nice and smooth. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to plot out the spots where our rivets are going to go. One here, one here, one there, one here, one here, because it's... Okay, we're gonna take a quick minute to review our gouge technique. Remember we did this when we built the Viking Axe. So all you need to do is take your foam and a really sharp new blade and you stick the blade in on an angle and you wobble it back and forth like so. And then we're gonna spin it around 
and we're gonna stick it back in right at the end of the line. We're gonna cut another gouge going the other direction and bring it right back to the point on that end of the line and check it out. This little piece comes right out and you've got a beautiful gouge in your foam. Perfect. Very simple technique. And you can do as many of those as you want all over your helmet. We've got some battle scarring around the whole helmet. We've got some on the lid. We've got it around the sides. Very nice. Nice scarring. Now, before we put the last piece on, which is going to be the rivets, we're going to get the heat gun out and we're going to heat seal this a little bit just to gloss over the foam. Like we've done before, so we get our heat gun going. We try to stay away from the seams if we can. So we're going to go over. There we go, look at that. Nice. Okay. Beautiful. You can see the foam changing right before your eyes. And what it also does is it causes the cups that we made to separate a little bit. There we go, just like that. There we go, look at that, beautiful. We are going to use the Dremel and a round bit to do a lot of smash marks on it and dents like from rocks and things being thrown at it. Okay, now we're going to use our Dremel and we're going to use our round bit. All right. That is some sweet battle damage right there. Very nice. Very nice. Always keep your table clean. Got a lot of Dremel dust around. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to put on our rivets. And as you can tell, we put silver marks every place we want a rivet. We're going to reveal the little mystery on what do you use to make perfect rivets? And the answer is... That's right, kids. Googly eyes. <laughs> And they're perfect. They look exactly like rivets. Once you, once you cover them with Plasti Dip and then you paint it, you can't even tell. Except for when you're out in the backyard with your pals and you're all suited up and the battle begins and they stop and say, what is that funny noise coming from your helmet? And you have to admit, my rivets are googly eyes. Take a little super glue, put a little dab there like so. Get yourself something you can grab your googly eyes with. Very simple. Dip the back in like that so the back is wet. And then you're going to take it and you're going to place it right over one of your dots. And you're going to hold it there for a minute. And that's it. And now you just follow the pattern all the way around. Leave them a tiny bit crooked and that helps add to the detail. And it's that simple. There we go. Look at how goofy that looks. And it sounds goofy. So our build is 100% complete. Okay, that concludes tonight's episode, Making an EVA Foam Night Helmet, part two. We took our blank structure that had already been built. We added all of our metal stripping around the, the top, the center, down the front, down the back. We added all of our battle damage, our, our dents and our, and our gashes and gouges from the axes. And uh, we finished up by putting all the rivets on our helmet. Shapes turned out great. Um, next episode, making an EVA foam night helmet part three, we're gonna go through sealing our helmet and painting it to look weathered and distressed and dirty. And uh, like we talked about earlier, we're gonna try to keep the bands through the middle and the front black that look like they've had paint worn off them, so there's a little bit of silver coming through. It's gonna be great. So, if you liked our episode tonight, give us a like, share it with a friend, and uh, better yet, subscribe to this channel, because together we're gonna go step by step through a lot of super cool builds together, so that you get the props you deserve. Thanks again. Hope you liked it, see you next time.